Breaking news, the FDA to reconsider decision of barring terzepatide compound with Eli Lilly's weight loss drug, ZetBound. Hi, beautiful friends. I'm Elizabeth, Countess of Shopping. And on today's episode, this was not on my bingo card for today. If you're seeing this on the breaking day of the story on Saturday, this is crazy. But first, I'm Elizabeth. If we don't know each other, I've lost over 98 pounds, woo, in the last um, 22 months of being on GLP-1 medication with Manjaro to ZetBound because of the shortages on terzepatide compound myself and now back over to ZepBound. And on today's episode, I'm going to cite my source, which is down below, it's Reuters, um, about the U.S. And this just came in last night, and so it's only a few hours old. So if you didn't see my part one of this series, go back to that video because it talks about the overarching legalities of Eli Lilly, who is the manufacturer of ZepBound and also Manjaro. Manjaro is for type 2 diabetics, but ZepBound for chronic obesity management, of how Eli Lilly literally had the FDA take ZetBound off of the FDA shortage list, which legally made it um, so compound pharmacies with terzepatide had substantial troubles with the compound terzepatide. This created a lot of problems. And so on an interesting turn of events, it, some time has been bought for people taking terzepatide compounds. What happened late last night it was the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, um, on Friday agreed to reconsider the decision that was made last month that was bar drug compounders from selling its own version of Eli Lilly's ZetBound and Manjaro. The agency at the FDA said in the court filing it would now allow compounding pharmacies and compounding facilities to keep providing the drugs while it reviews whether there is a shortage of their active ingredient, which is terzepatide. The compounding version of the drugs are cheaper for the patient than brand name versions, said Reuters. The decision was in a response to the lawsuit, which was brought on on Monday, which I have been breaking this story. Um, and yesterday was the part one of this lawsuit, which was basically going to be eliminating terzepatide, which affects thousands and thousands of people who, because of the ZepBound shortage, um, were able to get the drug more easily, but also substantially less expensive. Without the savings card, ZepBound costs around a thousand ish dollars per month. For terzepatide compound, depending on where you go, I got my terzepatide from Join Fridays. I will link that down in the description link below, as is my sources and all the, the free stuff I'm going to be talking about today. Make sure you stay till the end. I made a huge mistake and I'm going to I'm going to own up to my huge mistakes. I'll stay to the end on that too. Um, but this lawsuit was brought back by in, from Texas, so woo Texas, for the Outsourcing Facilities Association, the OFA, a compounding industry group. And I talked about this on part one, which was yesterday extensively. But basically, the U.S. District Judge Mark Pittman in Fort Worth, Texas, put the lawsuit on hold after the SDA decision um, on Friday to reconsider. September 30th decision by the FDA endangered the ability for compounders to sell Eli Lilly's version of the weight loss drugs, drug Zepbound and the diabetes drug Manjaro. The FDA decision removed the active ingredient terzepatide from the list of drugs experiencing the shortage, from the Zepbound shortage and Manjaro shortage. This would cut off access for many patients to the compounded versions that they relied on during the shortage, which are cheaper than the brand name drugs. Insurers generally cover drugs like terzepatide for diabetes, but many do not cover them for weight loss. Outsourcing Facilities Association Chairman Lee Rushman, uh, Roseburg, excuse me, Rosebush, said on a statement that they're relieved. And basically when I saw this, I was like, it's relief for so many of you thousands of you here in the Countess of Shopping community. And in my free encouragement group, we have had extensive dialogue about this, about here on YouTube too, about solutions, um, what to do, what is the action plan? Because we can sit and being in fear and being upset and all these things, but really we need an action plan. Action, action, we want action. A-C-T-I-O-N, we want action. So figuring out what that action plan is. Well, now people who are on terzepatide have a little bit more time with this. Um, because the FDA has agreed to reconsider their decision. Shortages of Eli Lilly's drugs and competitors like Nova Nordis, Nova Nordis makes Wegovy, by the way, and Ozempic, Ozempic's for type 2 diabetes, and um, Wegovy's for chronic obesity management. Um, Manjaro has been added to the FDA shortage list since late 2022, and ZetBound was added in April of 2024. Compounded drugs 
unlike conventional brand name or generic drugs, are sold without first getting FDA approval. Compounding pharmacies may create drugs to fill prescriptions for specific patients, while so-called outsourcing facilities prepare compounded drugs in bulk. Federal regulations allow compounded versions of FDA-approval drugs to be sold to meet the demand of the drug shortage in supply. I know many of you will ask because I do work with Join Fridays. I've been a patient of theirs since 2023. Um, that they prescribe both brand names, meaning Wegovy and Zepbound, but they also prescribe compounds, semi-glutide and terzepatide. They were ending that as everyone was ending terzepatide because of these legal things. Eli Lilly, this is my opinion. I'm not speaking for Join Fridays, but if you want to use Join Fridays, use the discount code QUEEN um, in capital letters, which is linked down below. Eli Lilly, and these are my words, Elizabeth is saying this, they are a huge multi-billion with a B dollar company. And so legally, it's like David and Goliath. Why would you want to fight that? Like, that is not a fight. <laughs> I would not want a dog in that fight because Eli Lilly is going to win. They're going to win. They're going to win. <laughs> However, there's a break in this of where <laughs> I'm actually shook, by the way, that it allows a little bit more reprieve. I don't know for how long, to be honest, in my opinion. I don't know. And you guys know I'm going to tell you when it's fact or when it's my opinion. In my opinion, I don't know how long this will last for. It's saying in the article it will last until a decision is made. How many more months that will buy until a decision is made? That is the victory right now. And you guys know, I always say taking GLP-1 medication with the ZetBound shortage or with Gobi shortage or Manjaro shortage or whatever that it's literally for me a day-by-day -day basis and a week-by-week -week basis. Do I have my injection for this week? Period. Like I cannot think too far down the pathway too, too much. But the Outsourcing Facilities Association, the people who were suing the FDA basically, were like, why did you make this rash decision, claimed uh, the, F the Outsourcing Facilities Association claimed in the lawsuit that the FDA removed terzepatide from its shortage list, even though Zepbound remained in short supply. And we've talked about this as well. In my opinion, when I'm getting my Zepbound, I am finding it is in shortage still. That is my opinion. In my free encouragement group, many people are able to find their Zepbound easily, and many people are not. It really has been, in my opinion, dependent on which state and which location you live in. Eli Lilly in August began sending cease and desist letters to telehealth companies, wellness centers, and medical spas selling compounded versions of Zepbound and Manjaro. The company also filed lawsuits against sellers falsely claiming to sell FDA-approved versions of the drug. And those were because of like copyright violations too as part of that. So this is huge news. If you had been, so the part two that I was gonna do today off of my part one was going to be solutions for moving towards semi-glutide. <laughs> and literally, I've had like scrambled this morning because I wanted to come and share it with you. A, the breaking news. This is huge that if you are in terzepatide, you've got a little bit more time. Um, that going back to this, the FDA is, is reconsidered decision barring compounded versions of Eli Lilly's weight loss drug. That, um, that they have allowed um, sellers of their own versions to continue basically to keep providing the drugs while it reviews whether the shortage of their active ingredient. So if you are finding you have a shortage, as in my part one, I will link down below the FDA website. You need to be reporting that. Like, not you should. You know, sometimes I give suggestions. I'm telling you, you need to. Because this is now a matter of um, if you're not reporting it, you're putting a lot of people in jeopardy. <laughs> Like, we need to be factually accurate on this point, um, and myself included, of reporting it on that website so it allows and lets the FDA to know, hey, this is in shortage. I'm not easily able to find it. Now, obviously, if you are able to find it, you wouldn't clearly fill out that website form, but it takes not long at all. It's linked down in the description link below. Take the two seconds, to, it's not two seconds, but take the time, a couple of minutes to do that. So we are factually updating the shortage if you are experiencing that with ZepBound. Now, the other component of this from my part one video was saying how terzepatide was going to be ending, and pretty quickly, most of the telehealth companies, because it's going to be a legal lawsuit if people continue selling terzepatide, if they weren't winding it down previous to this from a couple hours ago, from yesterday evening, literally like, what is it, 15 hours ago as I'm filming this, I was saying make the move to semi-glutide which is semi-glutide is the active ingredient in Wegovy and Ozempic. In terms of the data, if you're not familiar with what semi-glutide is to terzepatide, terzepatide has slightly higher data than Wegovy, meaning Manjaro and Zepbound, terzepatide, work slightly better because they have 
two, the two hormones, which is GLP-1 and GIP-1, whereas Wegovy, Ozempic, and semiglutide are um, a GLP-1. They have the one hormone. So there's slightly different data on these two things, um, and you lose slightly more in terms of your goals, conic obesity management, slightly more with terzepatide than you do with semiglutide. However, people on semiglutide crush it. And one of the things I was going to talk about in my part two video today on the semiglutide part was that there may be different side effects. If you're switching completely different drugs, these are completely different drugs. They are similar, but yet they're still completely different. So if people are even trying to compare like doses to each other and things like that, it's different. And even restarting from terzepatide over to semiglutide, you may have to start at the beginning of that or you may not. I don't know. Again, I'm not medical. Never, ever give medical. I never give medical advice because I'm not that. I will always, and I'm using my superlative, always punch you to your healthcare provider and to help spark those conversations for you to have with your healthcare provider. So switching over to semiglutide very well may be an option because of the cost barrier, which many people have had, which is why they're on compound um, versus being on... Um, or insurance coverage or things like that. So I hope this gives so much hope to so many, you have a little bit more time. Now, the retracting of this, all of the telehealth companies and compound feeding facilities and things like that, will they re-ramp up because they have a few more months reprieve? I don't know. People are gonna ask me about Join Fridays because I, I am an affiliate with them. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I haven't, I don't know. I literally just got back from my kid's soccer game. I'm still in my soccer, uh, like on the sideline soccer attire with my kid. So I don't know the answer to that. I'm sure Join Fridays will put a statement out also in the portal. And they also emailed. If you're not getting emails from Join Fridays, of course, do a type search in your email. It's probably in one of your folders, like a spam folder or promotions folder, where it's getting rerouted, not to your main inbox, which frequently that happens to me sometimes. So just type search in your email like join Fridays and see what pops up because they did send out emails all about terzepatide winding down um, and that may be the option too of while we have this reprieve will changing your insurances be a good benefit for you I don't know many of you after my last video I was so excited in our free encouragement group said Elizabeth I actually checked with my insurance and it is now covered so check your formularities under your insurance that very well may I mean that changes it's crazy how much changes we've experienced <laughs> from literally this year to last year and over the last 22 months for me like it has been massive changes in this industry and so check your insurance is that an option for you to go then on Wegovy or to go on Zetbound or go on the um, prescriptions that way with brand names? Or that's option one. Number two, going over to semiglutide. Um, or, or is your company that you're already with writing it out and continuing now that there's this reprieve? I don't know. It's a lot. Of, I mean, it's a lot. It's like I have whiplash from all these changes. And as a telehealth company or a compounding facility, I don't know how they're doing it. <laughs> it's just a lot. It's a lot of information. And on Friday night, it came through uh, like 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard, I think Eastern Standard Time. It came late. Like, it was a late change in this decision. Maybe that was West Coast time. But it, neither here nor there. It was late. And I was like, oh, my goodness. So all of that to say, there's a reprieve. And I told you in my last video that don't make the decisions ruled on fear. You're going to be taken care of. You're smart here. If you're at the Countess of Shopping community and you've made it this far in the video, that tells me you're smart. <laughs> you're a decision, um, like a solution-oriented person and not being fear-based. You are educated and we'll figure this out. And we'll figure it out together as a community too. I don't have all the answers and I fully admit that, but in collectively as a group, the Countess of Shopping community is amazing. In our free encouragement group, I know today is gonna be bumping. If you have posted something in the free encouragement group, please forgive me. Um, I'm gonna get updated today. I literally, it's been nuts since Prime Day. If you guys know me, I am up basically for 40 hours straight on Prime Day. Like that is, um, it's crazy. So anyways, getting back into the swing of things here with our solutions, this is very, very big news and I'm really, really excited about it too. I wanna go back over to my story and my phone just cut that off. Okay, there we go. Um, that was one of the things I wanted to share with you. And then also my big mistake. So I've made a mistake. You guys know I always will update. I am not perfect. I do not have all the answers, but when I find something that is different, I wanna share it with you guys. And um, you guys always ask me about face stuff because I love trying all the stuff and I love like the creams and lotions and for loose skin and things like that. I am really, really pumped. I have been testing um, and I wanted to say I made a mistake and then I, we, I need to have this like updated. I've switched over some of my face cream products 
And so the first one that I switched over was for a new eye cream. It's from Go Pure. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. This is their smaller size. They have a bigger one. I really, really like it a lot. It is fantastic eye cream. Um, oh my God, I just shot the thing across the studio. Oopsies, oopsie, oopsie, oopsies. I just shot it across the studio. I didn't mean to do that. This is why this is basically live, pretty much. I'm not editing that out. And then the neck cream. You guys know I love talking about the body cream for crepe erase. I talk about their neck cream. I also talk about um, the other company was uh, Q QRX neck cream because it's inexpensive. This is a great in between, this neck cream. It is awesome in terms of like loose neck, gobble gobble. Now, full disclosure, I do get um, lasers and Botox. So I always liked, and I have had filler. Like I always like to tell you like full disclosure. This product's awesome. I'm linking it down on my Amazon shopping list. These, and then you guys already knew this. This wasn't a change, but using their, um, the Go Pure Tinted SPF Moisturizer. I wore it today to my kid's soccer game. Now I have makeup on now, but before for the game, I just put on my tinted moisturizer. It is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And it's got the SPF 40 on there, the broad spectrum sunscreen. I keep an extra one in my pocketbook just because I'm getting so... <laughs> I almost said anal about the sun. It's compulsive about the sun, of sun damage, because I've had such extensive sun damage protecting my skin with sun. So if you're worried about loose skin on your face, but particularly the neck area, that is a shift that I'm making. And as we do more, we know more. And I still really do like Crepe Erase's neck cream. I really do. But the price point on it, <clears throat> I'm paying a lot for packaging, which I really like. I like the packaging. It's an elegant higher end. And if you're like me, I, sometimes I, I want to pay for that. But sometimes I'm like, no, I'm just not in the mood. So <laughs> I wanted to give a couple of other options on that. <clears throat> Do I still love Crepe Erase's um, eye cream also? Yes, it is awesome. It is amazing. But literally, if you're looking for a new eye cream, that is price point is great. But they're, um, this is their smaller, like not sample size, but smaller. They have the regular size is a lot for the price point. You get you get a very great value with it. So. I wanted to tell you guys, as I change, as I continue to evolve, we have opposable thumbs. And as I continue to evolve, I want to make sure uh, to let you guys know of my changes. I think that I, I want to make sure I'm communicating that as quickly as I know things. And I'm, I'm pumped about that. I'm pumped about that. Um, I also want to tattle on myself. I have lost 98 pounds. I'm going to be doing a whole video on all of that. But I have gotten sloppy. We've been doing in our free encouragement group weekly challenges. And so that free encouragement group is linked down below. We had one for walking, the 10K step challenge. We had one for water this week. And I'll announce the winner this weekend. Duke is going to pick it. He's very excited. So I'm not allowed to do it without Duke picking. Um, and then on Monday, I'll have a new challenge. So make sure if you're in the free encouragement group, check under the free encouragement group the featured. Well, you can click. Facebook has changed. Our private Facebook group has changed the way you can see posts. So just click the newest. Sometimes it will have like most relevant. I personally click to like the newest because the most relevant is awesome, but you can change the way things are sequentially laid out, which is really, really nice in the free encouragement group. And I will always pin to the featured category, particularly if you're new on GLP-1 medications, like what am I doing? That is a go to that featured section. But also if you're an OG, it has in there too, like, what the challenges are, what things I'm talking about this week that are important for my journey, things like that, and for the group in general. So all of that to say, was there anything else? Oh, many of you guys had asked me about the protein pretzels. You guys are loving them as much as I am. I am not sponsored by them, but I am obsessed. That is also on my Amazon shopping list, which is linked down below. And my Gem Bites, 50% off of your first month subscription. It is my daily vitamin. It has over 20 plus minerals, vitamins, nutrients, including pre and probiotics. So if you're having tummy issues, which most of us do, um, gastrointestinal, diarrhea, constipation, nausea, and vomiting with GLP-1 medication, I love having uh, the Gem Bites because they do already have prebiotics and probiotics included. So use the discount code QUEEN on those, and that link is down below too. Many of you guys have switched over to them. It's, it gives me a lot of energy. And with that consistent daily habit, that has been super, super important um, for my wellness journey. So I'm pumped, guys. We're going to get to that 100-pound weight loss journey. I know many of you guys have hit your goal, are almost to your goal, or are just starting the whole spectrum of it. We got this and great things are happening for us this weekend. So, and this, I hope you guys have a good holiday weekend too. Um, my sweet friends, I will link everything that I discussed, including my source 
that I was citing today down in the description link below, my Amazon shopping list, all of that. And then the GEM um, website and Join Fridays, the telehealth company I work with, they do also prescribe compounds. I don't know if, how this change will be for their terzepatide, but for sure semaglutide they're, they're rocking and rolling with. So in addition to brandings. Um, our question of the day, what are you doing today? to move you closer to your goals, your accountability question. Think about that. Some, I love it, by the way. I've had so many people be like, I watch your videos, but I never comment. And then they comment. I'm like, yay. Um, that's your question. And then our emoji of the day today is going to be a high five. High five. High five. High five. High five. Um, because today's a high five day. This breaking news story, that's a win. We've got a few months more reprieve with terzepatide. Okay, I'm going to go hang out with my fam now. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shopping. Count my blessings because life is delicious. Love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye, guys.